and gentlemen, and members of the government of the United States of America. My name is Jonathan Nee, and I'm here to speak to you on behalf of the voiceless, or in this case, our North Korean brothers and sisters who are currently refugees in China hiding for their lives. As we know, as, as for our brothers and sisters in Christ, we must help them to taste and experience what freedom is like for them. They're trapped, surrounded by soldiers and other countries who are preventing them from gaining freedom. Freedom. That is the key word about all this. Uh, in North Korea, there's, they're currently suffering and starving from a famine, and there are children and parents, brothers and sisters, who are dying from starvation. We know that, as Christians, we must turn to God and ask for this, but we also need your help too. We need to help, we need your guys' support to help us to pass HR 757 of the North Korean Human Rights Act. There is this one particular line in the Pledge of Allegiance that catches my mind in about all this. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This line is very important because we know that as God, who is above us all, wants us to become one nation and united, and we should be indivisible, for his love will bind us all, and for liberty and justice for all, to have peace and no war, no bloodshed, nothing. Thank you. All right. All right.